so hi everyone today we will be discussing about what is winsorizing method for scaling numerical features in data science so basically uh, in my previous video we have discussed how minmax uh, scalar works and and how it is sensitive to outliers so to curve on its uh, outlier uh, sensitivity so we would be first uh, winsorizing the data and then using the minmax scalar so what is winsorizing in winsorizing we are following majorly three steps first is to set up some lower and upper bounds in the data set now this bounds can be in terms of percentile like 5th or 95th percentile 10th or 90th percentile once the bounds are chosen what we are doing is that any value that goes beyond these bounds for example the 97th percentile value uh, the second percentile value when we are setting up a bound of 5th or and 95th percentile so any value that is falling outside these bounds are getting filled by the uh, nearest bound uh, around that value so for example the second percentile value would be replaced by the fifth percentile value the third percentile value would be replaced by the fifth percentile value. so you are getting my point right once you are setting up the upper bounds and low, uh, upper bound and lower bound any value that is falling outside these bounds is getting replaced by the that particular bound now uh, once we have winsorized the data we need to apply min max scaling again and eventually now this time you will see that how um, the outlier effect has been removed completely uh, for example let's uh, run through an example assume that we have this particular data set 1 2 3 4 5 6 till 20 uh, we select uh, we assume we wish to do uh, winsorizing here uh, so we selected bounds as uh, 20th and 80th percentile 20th becomes our 4 and 80th becomes a 16 percentile value right now then the new data becomes 4 4 4 4 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and 16 16 16 16 as you can see that what we have done any value that is beyond the 80th percentile is filled by the 80th percentile value that is 16 similarly in case of the lower bound uh, any value that is below the 20th percentile value is filled by uh, the 20th percentile that is uh, 1 2 3 4 are replaced by 4 uh, now uh, we will go through the codes once and see how winsorizing can help us in uh, curbing out the outlier effect in min, uh, min max scalar so here you can see uh, from like we have imported the basic libraries pandas numpy uh, from uh, scipy we have uh, we have imported the winsorizing method we are here declaring a dummy data frame where we have three columns a b c where a is a normal normally distributed value uh, variable uh, with mean zero or standard deviation one b uh, b is also coming from the same distribution but with mean equals to 100 and a standard deviation equals to one and similar for c also now what we have done is that uh, to see whether uh, winsorizing helps us in curbing the outlier effect we have introduced an outline one of the columns that is a so let's run these codes and see how winsorizing is performed uh, this is a data set that we have generated and we would be applying the winsorizing method on this particular data set now as you can see here in scipy.stats we have imported winsorizing and eventually uh, we have set up the uh, variable dfa or over which we wish to winsorize because both b and c don't have an outlier and we have set up the limits as i told you earlier we were setting up some percent upper and lower bounds so limits uh, we will be passing out two values 0 0.05 0 0.05 means that we are setting a fifth and 95th percentile right and once we have winsorized we would be importing uh, the min max scalar from sklearn dot preprocessing uh, premium package we would be applying the min max scalar throughout the uh, throughout the data frame uh, we would be as min max killer returns an np array we would be again converting this into a data frame and then we will be finally visualizing our the three columns that we have got so you can see that here uh, eventually how the three columns have been distributed and have been uh, scaled in the range from 0 to 1 now uh, if the same data would have been uh, uh, scaled using min max scalar uh, without uh, without winsorizing the column a so the after scaling the column it would have looked something like this as you can see in the image because of the presence of the outlier all the rest of the values are getting scaled in the range of 0 to 0, 0 0.0 to 0 0.05 a very skim range right and they are not getting spread evenly across the whole range given in the that is determined by the min max scalar hence uh, the differentiability between these different values present in the um, in the particular column gets dissolved because of the presence of the outlier and hence that is a way of winsorizing and winsorizing has uh, curved out this effect and you can see here that how the values are getting spread uh, uniformly throughout the range but in case of min max scalar directly without winsorizing the data uh, the values are getting uh, limited to a particular very very small range uh, within 0 to 1.